Audrey's daycare and my booth rent. We're gonna go into Walmart. Right now, what we're doing, but we're just gonna go hang around. We were supposed to play golf, but James doesn't want to, so oh, he didn't bring his um, golf clubs because he said it was too hot outside. But anyways, yeah, so catch up with y'all guys in a bit. Okay, so James ordered me and Audrey some shirts. From what site? Lids Locker Room. Lids Locker Room. And he got this cute little shirt for Audrey. It's a brewer shirt. This kind of looks small. What size is this? 40. Yeah. What's she wearing, right? Yeah, she's kind of pushing it five. It looks kind of short. I think it's yeah, cute. it just looks short, but it's okay because I could always like tie the bottom for her. But he got her this cute little one, so adorable. It's a brewer shirt, and then he ordered me. I'm using my smaller tripod. It fits on there because I've been vlogging. But and then he got me this cute yeah, little tank. And oh, he did. Well, here. No, this. Through FedEx, probably. FedEx drops off in the front. UPS goes through the back. And then, FedEx, yeah. yeah. Oh, and then he ordered me this shirt. So cute. I think it's like a, yeah, this is, they're, they're both small, so. It's like a really cute planner from Walmart. I'm so excited about it. It says stay wild on here. But it's just like really good quality. Like I'm so excited. And it even starts with the July and everything. I have like all of my stuff, you know, that I need to put in there. But um, so cute. How cute is that? Just so much detail. And I love stuff like that just because and there's little quotes on the side. Like this one says, Will said, it's okay to not do it all. So like little quotes on the side of each like month. And on this one it says, did you know peaches are from members of the almond family? So just like little knowledgeable things, like quotes and, you know, things to kind of get you, you know, something to get excited about. And it's really, really cute. Just like, you know, birthdays and um, important dates, all things, like things that you need to remember, things that you're loving, things you're thankful for, thinking of. Well, like the happy planning, the happy planner. It has all of that information on there, what I just read, and then it says on the back, plan a happy life, and then um, below that it says, for ideas, inspiration, follow us at, and then they have like their own YouTube channel right on here. They have uh, Instagram, happy planner, and then Facebook happy planner, and then they have their own website. So I just thought it was really cute, so that way you can follow them, get really like, good ideas for your planner and stuff like that. But I just love a planner that, speaks to me and it was a little bit more on the pricier side. I want to say it was like $17 like for a planner like this. I mean, I know you can get more that are, <coughs> I know you can get different ones that are more expensive. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm sure like nicer quality and stuff, but for Walmart, like this is really nice. So I was excited and I know it says in here three bonus, uh, three months bonus. So April 2019 through June. 2019 so that was just you know another perk so just lots of fun little stuff in this so I'm excited to have this I bought some oh all my pins just fell out my paper mate pins these are like my all-time favorite pins ever I feel like they just write perfectly so I'm taking them out as we speak I just really need to start planning and like getting my ducks in a row for the wedding so I just got these little colored ones by paper mate so cute, they came with the packaging like this, really, really nice, and oh yeah, and then I got these cute little highlighters, four pack, it just has orange, yellow, green, and pink, and it just comes in this cute little like package, so that way you can throw in the bag or whatever, but these are the liquid highlighters, four count, it's by Pin and Gear, so really, really cute, just for me, you know, staying on top of everything. I love highlighting stuff because it just lets me know that it's really important. And then James got these.
guys, so it is Saturday. We had a late start to the day. We were supposed to get up early and get a whole bunch of stuff done, but we didn't. I just finished my makeup. I'm using the YSL 24 hour foundation and it's looking really, really good. We're about to go to the stairs. Um, I was gonna zoom in a little bit too much, but we're fixing to go to the steakhouse, go and get something to eat. And then go and get my tennis racket from the storage. So I'm going to bring you guys along with me because I always say I'm going to bring you. And then whenever I get there, there's like so many people around and I want to bring my camera. But I'm going to bring you guys along with me. I just have like a little half and half down updo. I'm like obsessed with this top. Um, I got it at forever, I believe. It is so cute. So I'm obsessed with it. Uh, it's just like perfect for summer and like... I forgot that the TV at the house is still like rewinding like an hour. So I miss some of them around the house, but in my makeup studio, I only have here with me the LA Colors nail glue. It just looks, it's like in a little tube like this. And then I have the Kiss Power Flex Precision Nail Glue. And that one looks like this. Let me, oh gosh. What's up with this? Okay, so, got it, already. So I have my little nail kit oh, here, like just little scissors and my little nail clippers. And let me just show you a few of my sets. So I have these, um, they're just like a fringe tip. They have um, like a little design on them with a little jewel. And I believe these were like seven, eight bucks at Walmart, but these are the new Impress Press-On Manicure, no glue needed. I still use glue no matter what. When you use the Press-On nails and it's not super glue, super glue is a totally different glue. So please do not go out, do not go buy, don't, do not go and buy Gorilla Glue for nails. Don't go and buy super glue, get nail glue. Nail glue is a totally different ball game. I don't want your, um, I do not want like your uh, nails to mess up or anything like that. Of course, I know whenever you are getting your nail stents like that, eventually with all of the wear and tear on them, they break, stuff like that, whatever. But let's use nail glue, okay? So let's jump right in. So I just got these today. I like I said, I gave a lot of packs to my mom because I got different shades of pink and she was wanting some because they're going to the Frio in a few days and she was like, oh my gosh, I don't have anything. Like, I don't have, I don't have, I, we went to Walmart like literally two weeks ago and she got herself some, I got myself some and she lost hers. So I gave her a lot of packs of pink just to choose from. I think I gave her like five different packs to choose from. So she's choosing whatever pink she wants and I'm just gonna show you guys a few of the stuff that I have. So these are by Impress, the, uh, oh, these are the French tip ones. And then I have these LA color ones, no glue needed. These just have, I think I showed you these in one of my previous videos, I'm not sure, but they just have like the palm tree leaves and a pink one so perfect for like a getaway trip. I forgot about those. Then I have um, the LA Colors. There's 33 uh, nail piece kit in here, but this is just the holographic ones. I ripped off this part, but 
Uh, these are just the holographic ones, but it's more of like an ivory. It's not like a white white. I have the white white, but that one's all the way in my room. And I don't feel like getting it because James, like I said, it is already 1.23 in the morning. He has to get up at like 5 in the morning to go to work, so I don't want to bug him. I'm all the way here, three rooms down in the office slash studio room, so he can't hear or anything like what's going on. So I really don't want to bug him. And then I have these, which these Kiss ones right here are like one of my favorites just because they have a really pretty design. And I got these from Dollar General. So I got this set from Family Dollar. I got these two from Walmart. And we went to H-E-B today, me and James, earlier, and I should have freaking looked at their nails. I'll do that tomorrow. I'll look at their nails tomorrow, like what selection they have. I think James is awake. I can hear him. James? You're still awake? Huh? He, he got a new phone, so he's trying to figure it out. When I'm done, I'll go and help him. So then I got these Kiss ones, and they have, like, a really pretty... Uh, I don't know if you can see. Like, it's, it's like a tan, like a tannish brown nude but it has like really really pretty designs on them that are just clean and chic and i love them like i bought three sets of these the other two are like i said in the room so then i have these these are also by new um the impress press on manicure like i said no glue needed but i still use glue and i believe i showed you these in my previous video but these are so cute like i'm obsessed with these i don't know if i want to do the like manicure one or these i i kind of want to do mm, i kind of want to do these okay let's do these the ones that have the granite top with the gray in the middle and then the cute like shimmery ones on the bottom so let's get these out of up out of the way so all you're gonna need for your nails are a nail file or if you have one of those little nail drills i do have them but it's in the room um you can get those at family dollar walmart i don't think they have them at dollar general if they do i apologize i didn't see them there but I know that they have them at Family Dollar and they're seven bucks. So you can actually like, you know, file down your nail with one of those little nail, um, those little nail head shaver things that they use at the, uh, you know, whenever you go get your nails done, nail place. So we got our box of nails that we're gonna be using. We got our nail glue. This one. Right. And now we're gonna get started. So the first thing you're gonna want to do, I'm gonna kind, I'm gonna refocus everything, and then we'll go through this step by step. Okay, you guys. So let me kind of lean over. So the first step you want to do is just kind of size everything up. You're gonna take everything out of the box, like so. And on the top, you're just gonna have tons of like little extras of your nails. So you're just going to kind of pick which ones fit your nails best. And I don't like my nail silk fat, so I always go like with the smaller um, fit. But before I actually start doing that, I am just going to knock this out real quick and file my nail down. I file every part of my nail.
So you're gonna bring your little case, like so, and you're just gonna start seeing like what fits what. I like to take all of mine out because I just want to see what's going to fit, what's not going to fit, and what nail I'm going to use. Which finger? So these kind of look like they're going to be middle ones. This looks like it could be Okay. So these are middle ones, for sure. This looks like it's a thumb.
have the press on nails, H&B, Walmart, Walgreens. I never check Walgreens. I'm gonna check H&B and Walgreens and then do a little vlog and show you guys what they have at their stores. But um, Dollar General, Family Dollar, they have really good, you know, um, a really good selection of nails. So I will, you know, let you guys know where I got mine. I was pretty thorough in that video, but like I said, I am gonna post a picture on my. Um, Instagram so that way you guys can see what they really look like. So it's just kind of, I feel like, not showing you what they look like right here. But it's okay. Like I said, I am going to post um, a picture on my Instagram. And yeah, just go follow me so that way you can, you know, see what I'm doing every day or, you know, some of my posts. But if um, you're watching this and then you go follow me on Instagram, please leave a little nail emoji. And um, yeah, so I'll be posting another video. And like I said, I just filed them down with a nail file. I know that the, they are already pre-glued and they have an adhesive layer on them, but I just like to put the entire glue on my nail. I try not to overdo it because I don't want to get glue everywhere, but I do put a thin layer of glue on my actual nail. And I rub the bottom of the nail on the glue, press it all the way down to where my cuticle is, hold it down for about a minute and then move on to the next nail. So this is the final look. I don't know if you can really see it. I don't know why it's coming out super blurry. I will post a picture on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I will have all of that in the description down below so that way you can follow me. Um, and I will have like notifications through the video of my Instagram name, my Facebook name, and all that good stuff. But I will post a picture of the final product so that way you can see how they look on Instagram. Um, like I said, if you haven't followed me, please go follow me on Instagram. But um, I hope this video was really helpful. I will link everything that I have used in this video or that I got, showed you guys, all that stuff. I will link it down below. If you have any questions, please just comment. And like I said, give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that notification bell so that way you can get notified anytime there is a new video that I post, you can be the first to know when it's up, and it is already 2 in the morning, so I'm going to wash this off and crash, start editing to have this video up by later today. But anyways, bye you guys, see you later.